What up boys, this is gonna be the Covenant video. And in this video, I'm gonna go through the active abilities for each Covenant. And then we're gonna do a second video for Soulbinds and Conduits, because otherwise this video is gonna be way too long. There's a fair bit to get through. And then I'm gonna do a third video on kind of ranking the Covenants for, first of all, for Disc, for PvP, Arenas, um, Mythic Plus and obviously the Raid. And then I'm going to do the same for Holy. And we're going to kind of try and get a little bit of, you know, this list going on, something like that. So the two Kyrian Covenant abilities are Summon Steward and Boon of the Ascended. Summon Steward summons a dude who will trade you three files of Serenity when you clip him. And he has a five minute cooldown. These files will restore 20% health and remove all uh, curse, disease, poison, and bleeds uh, that are on you. And it is usable once in combat until you drop combat, and then it gets a three minute cooldown, similar to other pots, uh, which get a five minute cooldown now, I believe. And he also offers you the option to change your talents. Uh, he will buy grays and whatnot off you. Boon of the Ascended is a three minute cooldown and this is really powerful. And what this does is it replaces, once you use it, it replaces your Smite with Ascended Blast and it replaces Boon of the Ascended with Ascended Nova. Ascended Blast has a three second cooldown and is instant and deals considerable damage and AOE healing. Uh, so you pretty much want to rotate these every single time they're up. So the second covenant we're going to be looking at is the Night Fae. And the first of the abilities is Soul Shape, which is a 1.5 minute cooldown. It's instant and it turns you into a Vulpin, teleporting you forward by 15 yards. And it will increase your movement speed by 50% as well. And every five seconds or so you can teleport again and it's instant again. If you're in a rest area, then it's just up permanently. Um, uh, otherwise, it lasts for 12 seconds. The second ability is Fey Guardians. Uh, this is a 1.5 minute cooldown, costs 1k mana and is instant. It lasts for 20 seconds. And the way that it works is the last target you used either your Shadow of Pain, your Shield or your Mend on is the one that has the Fairy. You don't have Im infinite fairies. You have one fairy of each, and it follows the last kind of that spell that you used. So for Shadow Word Pain, any subsequent spells you cast against the last target you pained will refund mana. Uh, the last target you shielded will be granted 10% damage reduction, so a kind of masochism. And the last person you shadow mended will get a bonus to their cooldown recovery rate. So the third covenant that we're going to be looking at is the Venthyr and in my opinion this is the coolest one. Uh, not just because of the aesthetics but because of the dynamic of the abilities that you get. Uh, so the first one is Door of Shadows and it's super simple. 1.5 second cast, 1 minute cooldown, and teleports you 35 yards, or up to 35 yards away. Very cool. The second ability is Mind Games. Now this one is a little bit more complicated. It's a 1.5 second cast baseline, costs 1k mana, and has a 45 second cooldown with a 40 yard range. So it's a really, really versatile spell to use. Uh, on hit, it does a lot of damage. It's a shadow spell. And for five seconds after it lands, it puts a magical debuff on the target. This magical debuff will reverse the next healing or damage that the target does. So as you can see from the tooltip, the next 4.5k damage that the target does will heal their target. So you can use it on a DPS or a healer. 
the next 4.5k healing the target does will damage the target. Uh, any damage or healing that you reverse will restore mana. The fourth and final covenant that we're going to be looking at is the Necrolords. And their first ability is Fleshcraft, a two minute cooldown. It's a four second channel that gives you a 20% of your max health shield for two minutes. If you do this near a corpse, then it increases to 50% of your max health. It's not dispellable. The second ability is Unholy Nova, and it's a 2.5k mana cost instant with a one minute cooldown. It launches an explosion of dark energy that infects enemies within 15 yards with Unholy Transfusion, and it heals up to six allies for 1,191. Obviously this will scale. Unholy Transfusion will deal 3k damage over 15 seconds. Any allies who damage the target that has this dot will also be healed for 40. This was the Covenants video. I hope you found it useful. Kidding? You kidding? I hope you found it useful. Um, as I get completely sidetracked. Thank you, Luna. The next video will be on conduits and soulbinds. So I'm going to put in a bunch of research to, uh, to learn about all the different talents that is going to be available there. And then for the third video, we're going to use that research to basically make a tier list for which covenant is going to be optimal for disc, for arena, for mythic plus and for raiding. And we're going to do the same for holy. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Any kidding? I'm trying to record a video here, mate. You got anything to say? <laughs>